Hi, I'm Eric Robichaud with Green Goddess Supply, and today I want to talk to you about programming the LCD controller for the external exhaust fan for the armor. Now, this video is going to have two sections. I'll keep it brief, but I'm going to explain how the controller works. If you understand the theory behind how it works and what it does, it makes a lot more sense. And then part two, we'll just jump right into how to program it for the armor. The LCD controller is typically mounted on the left quarter panel above the internal fans and right below the exhaust fan but I'm going to remove it from its mounting box for the purposes of this video. The first thing I want to talk about is the concept of power. Unless you physically unplug the controller, it actually does not literally turn off. The concept of off and on are relative. It's more like sleeping and awake. When it's off, the fan motor does power down, but the LCD controller screen itself just dims and many of the images and icons disappear but there actually is still power to the screen and the temperature will show. The controller does not literally just go blank. So for example, this is on and now this is off. And now the fan, I can hear in behind me, the fan is actually powering down. Now the house icon and, and, and everything else, the outline of the house and all the other icons have all disappeared. So the screen is still on, but this is considered off. And now this is on. And now the fan is going to power back up and everything is going to come back on. So please understand throughout these instructions, when I'm talking about on and off, I mean the fan on and off, not the controller. The controller literally never goes off. So this is on and then this is off. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the clock in the upper right corner. This can be very confusing to folks, especially when you first take this out of the box and you haven't programmed it yet because this number here, this clock, can actually show different things and mean different things depending on what mode you're in or the context. Right now it's showing time of day. It's saying it is 6.26 p.m. here because this is showing in 24-hour military time format, okay? But sometimes this could be showing you a delay value such as run the fan for three hours and 25 minutes after I hit the power button to turn off. So there's a delay, run it for a little longer. Sometimes it can also show you an on time and an off time, the time for the fan to automatically turn on and the time to turn off. That's for other types of applications, like in a shop where people work from nine to five, you might want the fan to go on automatically at nine and shut off at five while people are working. We don't need that, we want it to run 24 seven. So we won't use that. But when you see on or off under it, it does not mean that the unit is on or that the unit is off. That's the on time and the off time. We will program it to shut all of that off because we don't care. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the temperature module here. The temperature and humidity is actually generated from sensors inside the LCD controller itself. It's not in the fan. So it's really important. This is why the LCD controller is mounted inside the box and it's up near the top near the fan at a higher point in the box where because heat rises. So we want it where it'll be the warmest, okay? So you can't mount this controller outside of the armoire because you'll get false readings. It'll be reading the temperature and humidity outside of the cabinet instead of inside. All right, so let's start programming this thing. First, we wanna set the clock, okay? This is where we can set the actual current time in 24 hour military format. So for example, if it's 6.30 p.m. here, it's gonna say 18.30. This one happens to already be set, but that's okay. I'll show you anyway. So now with the fan off, okay, let's turn it off. With the fan off, I'm going to tap the clock button right here. And now you see it blinking. So now we can use the up and down arrows to adjust the time. And then we hit the clock button, it'll go to the hours. And we can adjust the time up and down and then hit it again. And we're done. And now we see the time. I live in the United States, so I want to change the temperature readout to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. So now, with the fan off, we're going to press and hold for a few seconds the M button. Press and hold. And now we can press the M button to toggle down to number six. And now I'm in Celsius. I can use the up and down buttons to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit and then just let it time out for a second. It'll go 
go back to the main menu and automatically save those settings. See, now I'm in Fahrenheit. Now we want to set the delay value. This is where, if you notice right now, see in the upper right, there's a little clock icon and it's showing 29. That's because this controller shows that the fan is off right now, but I can still hear it on. It's going to be on for another 29 minutes before it automatically shuts off. Okay, so the usage case for this is you set a delay value, instead of really shutting off, run for an extra 30 minutes, then go off. Okay, we don't want that because you don't want to be, everything is looking great, you walk away and you come back a few hours later and the fan's off and you don't know why. Okay, so what we're going to do is with the fan on, turn it on, we're going to tap the M button, not press and hold, but just tap it. And now you see the clock is flashing, and this is where we can adjust it up and down. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. I set it to zero and tap the M button, and now it's gone. It's reset to zero, and it's turned off. Now when I turn it off, I can hear the fan actually shutting down now. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to change the on and off times for the timer. Now the thing to understand here is that we don't even want to use the timer and there's a way to turn it off entirely that we'll do at the end. However, if you accidentally re-engage it, because it is kind of easy to just hit the wrong button on this thing and, and re-engage it, you don't want to find out that it shut off, you know, in the middle of the day. And when you come home from work, find out it's been off all day and uh, it's 95 degrees in the box and your plant's wilting, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to program this thing so that it goes off at 3 in the morning and back on at 3.01. So worst case, it runs essentially 24 hours a day. And in the middle of the night, when the box is presumably coolest anyway, and the lights are off and so forth, it'll go off for a minute and then come right back on again okay so with the fan on like it is now okay see the fans on let's tap the clock button and now this is the same way that you control see three o'clock 301 the same way you would set the time earlier so and then you hit the clock button to go to the hours and you can adjust the hours up and down and then hit the clock button and now see it goes to off now the off time go off at three so first we set 301 for the on time, and then we set the off time, and then we'll just let it time out, okay? Then the last thing you wanna do is with the clock, with the fan on, press and hold the clock button, and that toggles the timer on and off. See, now it has the on time and the off time. Hold it again, and turn it off, and it just shows you time of day. So what we've done is we've set it to three o'clock to go off, 301 to go back on. Then we press and hold the timer button to disable the timer anyway. Now, we don't want it in automatic mode. So what you'll notice is with the fan on, see I have an icon here that says auto. If I press and hold the M button, it will turn it off. And that's what we want, we wanna leave that off. Now we can use the up and down arrows to adjust our wind speed. You see the, the bars coming down here? I can crank it back up. Probably somewhere around five or six is appropriate for most uses. Obviously the higher you go, the louder it's gonna get, um, but it also evacuates more heat. So you can kind of figure out where equilibrium is for you in your house. You can get it as low as possible, but high enough that it gets the job done. Now the last thing we do is if you press and hold the up arrow for a few seconds, you notice the lock icon comes on. Now I can't accidentally press buttons. It's not gonna do anything. It's a child lock. I've locked out the interface, but you press and hold the up arrow and see now it's back off. I press and hold and now it's back on. So now we've programmed, we've turned off all the delays, we've turned off the automatic timers, we've turned off the auto mode, okay? And then we set the uh, wind speed where we wanted it. I changed it to Fahrenheit for me, which you could leave in Celsius if you prefer. And then basically we just press the up arrow and we lock the controller from making additional changes. And that's it, it should be set.